My name is Lori Rubin. I am a product evangelist for Milio Photos. Happy to have you here with us today. Uh, we've got Michael Deerwork with us, and he is our support senior, one of our senior support specialists for Milio Photos. He's very well versed in the product. He does a lot of troubleshooting and helping folks if they have any questions and tackling some issues that they might have. So Michael's going to be sharing his screen today with us, going through a few things that maybe you folks have encountered. Uh, if you have specific questions, feel free to put them in that chat box and, and we'll be sure to get to you there. Um, we'll also post some links that you can find more information. So after this webinar is done, uh, we can point you to where you can find more information afterwards as well. So Michael, I'm gonna go ahead and open the floor to you and uh, hopefully you can share your screen there when you're ready. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to, um, I'm gonna run through a few common, what I think are common troubleshooting scenarios where you might run into something and are maybe unsure of why something is happening or, or what steps to take next or, or sort of what you can do to troubleshoot the issue. Uh, I'm going to try to be relatively concise and, and run through those things. As Lori mentioned, please feel free to put any questions in the chat. And then at the end, I am happy to um, feel free to, to put questions throughout. But at, at the end, I'm also happy to take some additional questions. We won't be able to deep dive and troubleshoot specific issues. But if you are seeing something that I don't address or that you have a question about, happy to sort of point you in the right direction or offer advice on the, the next steps that you can take. Uh, so the first thing that people may run into that is very common is various forms of syncing issues. Photos aren't syncing or you aren't sure what is synced to each device um, or which device has which photos. And there are a couple of tools for you to view more information about that. The main tool is what's called the sync panel. And that's what's over here in the right hand side of the screen. The way you get to that is you first open up the right hand sidebar, which you can do by clicking the little I, the info that opens this up. And then you have various tabs, the last of which is sync. And yours may look a little bit different. There are ways that you can, uh, you saw I clicked on that gear and it took me to the settings for it. So I could just show online devices. There's a compact view, which just shows it like this. But I really like to do full and show all, it just gives me a better overall view of everything. Um, but you can get to this from whatever view you're in, whether I'm on the, you can see now I'm on the dashboard or go back to folders or all photos, that sync panel is still going to show up over here. And this is going to give you the most information about the sync status of every device. You can see one of the reasons I like the full view is because it actually labels everything. So this is the device I'm on, it's the MacBook Pro, and then there are uh, bars here for thumbnails, optimized images, and originals. And then this is going to tell me if my device has it or if it still needs something. I have a full solid green bar here for thumbnails. My device has all of the thumbnails. Full solid bar for optimized as well. So it's all of the optimized images. Originals you see mostly green, but then it's orange. Anything that's orange means this device still needs those photos. So this device is missing 492 original photos. And then I can see which device uh, those are on. Now, I should have prepared a little bit better coming into this because this is a more unusual situation where I actually purposefully created what's known as lost originals. So these are not on any device. So that's why they're missing here. And they're actually not going to be in other devices. They have a few funky things about my library just because we always have to have um, various setups for, for troubleshooting different issues. But uh, that normally in, in most setups, you may have lost originals as well. And that way you can tell it's not on any device, but typically you're going to see, okay, this has missing 492 photos. And then what you can actually do is let's go over to the dashboard. I'm gonna click on my devices. I can click on my MacBook. And typically, it, because these are lost originals, it's not gonna show up quite the same way, but I could go over to my external drive because it's not connected. And right here, there's something that says show files to sync. And you could do this for any device that's, that's missing photos. I click on that and it shows me everything that is waiting to sync to the external drive. So now I can see actually which images that's missing. The other great thing about the sync panel is that you can view that same information for each photo. 
So I can select this one and I can see, okay, my this device, you can see up here, it changed to selection. So my MacBook has all of the versions of this. My Leo drive has the thumbnail and optimized version. Those are the only ones at once. OneDrive just has the thumbnail. That's how I have it set up. So it just wants that. But okay, my Galaxy, my PC, those still need the thumbnails. And this external drive, it needs the thumbnail, the optimized version, and the original. So I can say, okay, well, I know that my computer has it. So I'll just connect this photo drive to my computer. It'll be able to sync from the computer to there. Similarly, I can select all of the photos at once. I just did that with Command A, or you can right click and do select all. And go ahead and view the sync status for all 495 of these photos. You can see, as I kind of mentioned, it looks a little bit funky just with the way I have things set up. But OK, my Leo drive has some of the thumbnails, but is missing others. And then OneDrive has some of them, but that's still working on syncing. And then same with the other devices. So you can really get as granular as you'd like with the sync panel. It's a very versatile tool. Um, you don't need to use it just when you're running into an issue or um, you know if, if something's going wrong. You can really always keep an eye on it to just get a sense of which device has which photo or again, for a selection of photos. So I can select this folder and view the sync status for that or um, various information like that. It's a very powerful tool that can give you a lot of information depending on what you're trying to find. So I wanted to make sure I gave a little overview of that first um, because it can be used even in, in some of the other things I'm going to be talking about. But let's say you uh, do that. You look at the sync panel and it says that your computer needs the, the photo and that your phone has it. And you have your phone online and your computer online, but it just is not syncing. What can you do if things are not syncing? The first thing that I would recommend is open up this notifications menu up here. It's this little bell icon. You can open that up and oftentimes there will be a notification here that says something to the effect of your device is out of space. Click here to free up space or adjust the, the minimum um, space setting in Mylio, which will take you over to the dashboard just to show you quickly. Um, if you select any device, I'll select my MacBook and then go down to storage. There's a little slider here. So I can say, okay, well, if my MacBook has less than 700 gigabytes available, then stop syncing until I can you know, manage the space myself. So that might be something you see in the notifications. It could be something else where it's almost always actionable as well, where you see a notification, you can click it and it'll take you to the setting to adjust it. Maybe you even turn syncing off. Um, that's an option. So in settings under syncing, you can choose to turn syncing on or off on that device. So then it may be a notification that says syncing's currently off. You click on it and then turn it back on. Um, so that's always a very easy first place to check. So just open it up, see if there's anything listed here. The activities menu is right next to it. Uh, you can click on that and see what's listed in there as well. And that's helpful because maybe Mylio is in the middle of syncing and it says it's 50% done and it's making progress. Um, those are different things to look for. Maybe it's working on, um, maybe you recently moved a bunch of files from one folder to another, and it's still working on finishing moving all of those. And then it might have the next activity queued up below it says syncing. So, you know, okay, I need to wait for it to finish moving all my files first, and then it can start syncing those. This is a good place to look just to see kind of what's going on. What is it working on? Is everything making progress or does something appear stuck? It can help to give uh, you more information and support more information as well. If you do end up reaching out to support, it gives you a, just a better idea of kind of what's going on in Mylio in general. Um, so those are really the places that I would start with syncing. Now, I, I will also, I guess, maybe say right off the bat, turning it off and turning it back on again is a, certainly a real troubleshooting step. It can, it can help with a lot of different things. If you've tried various things, you can't see if things are still stuck, you don't know what to do. You can always quit and reopen Mylio. It, um, it, it can resolve lots of different things that maybe run into, maybe something stuck. Um, and then also, I guess, as a point of clarification, there is a difference between closing the window and actually quitting the application. So on a computer, by default, if you uh, hit the X, 
it's going to close Mylio. It's still running in the background. So if I have an external drive connected, it's still going to sync. Or if it's working on importing images, um, that's still going to happen. If you actually want to quit it on the Mac, you just click on Mylio Photos and then quit. Um, on Windows, it's under File. It's File Quit or File Exit Mylio Photos. Um, so quitting and reopening can be a, a real troubleshooting step that you, that you may need to do as well. All right, and then kind of moving along from syncing, you may notice that up here at the top, um, there's it says folders because I'm in the folder view, and now albums, um, people, et cetera. But then there's also this that says work. Uh, and that is the name of the space that I'm currently in. Spaces is a feature that we released in our most recent update just a few weeks ago. And that gives you a lot of control over what is actually displayed in your library. So if you want to give your device to a family member, but you don't want them to see all of your photos, then you can go over here to spaces and switch to... Uh, the public space or the family space. And that will only show the photos that you tell it to show. Uh, we have lots of great videos and articles in the manual about how you can set those up and what you can do with those. Um, but it allows you to control what photos are displayed. It also allows you to control what can actually be done in your library. You can set permissions. So if you switch to a certain space, then users cannot delete any photos from your library or users can only see uh, the folder view and the people view, but not any others. So if you yourself are in your library and you're looking at it and you say, okay, well, I know I have 10 folders, but only three are showing up. Where did everything else go? Or I'm in all photos view and uh, I can't see all my photos. Or I'm trying to click on a certain option and nothing's happening. Look at the very top of the window and see if you're in a certain space. And the way that you can change that is click here and go to the everything space that's going to show you everything. Now I have more folders. I'll be able to do anything. I'll delete all photos, you know, change all of those settings um, because I switched to everything. And then if you want to switch back, then you can do that. But if you're in a different space, it'll always be listed at the top. Oh, next I wanted to talk about just locating photos in general. Maybe you're working outside of Mylio. That's a very common workflow is to work both with your files in Mylio and on your computer or external drive, because everything in this folder view is also exists on your computer, on your external drives, on your other devices. So maybe you have a folder open in Finder or File Explorer, and you don't see any photos there. It's empty. Well, that's when you could come into Mylio, select the folder. Maybe I was looking at this in, in Finder and there weren't any photos there. That's where you can look back at the sync panel again. Does your computer actually have the original files? Because it might not. It might have a sync policy set up so it only keeps the thumbnails um, and the originals are actually on your external drive. So that's one place that you can look. Or maybe kind of the opposite. Maybe you're in Mylio and you have no idea where this folder is on your computer. What you can do there is just right click the folder and at the bottom there's this reveal in finder option. I click that, Miley opens up a finder window. It shows me exactly where that folder is. This folder is going to be an exact correlation to what you see here. Here I see all the photos, here I see all the same photos. You can do the same thing with indiv individual file. Right click it, reveal in finder, and it takes you to that same file in finder. Um, if you have an external drive attached, you're going to see a similar option. It's going to be right next to it. It says reveal in external and it'll show you where that folder or the file is on your external drive if you wanna go you know, and check and make changes to it outside of Mylio or and move it somewhere or you just locate it in general. Um, I mentioned device sync policy. I won't go too far into detail about that, but on the dashboard is where you can make changes to uh, a lot of things about your devices. So if my computer did have a, a policy set up where it only wanted thumbnails, this is where you would change that. Select your computer, select device sync policies, and you could change that here. And again, we have great resources uh, in the manual and on the community, lots of videos and articles about sort of how to manage all of those settings. All right, let's get into some more uh, 
maybe disruptive issues. Maybe Mylio uh, crashed on your device. Then what do you do then? Answer to that is, it depends. <laughs> if you were working and Mylio crashed on your computer, really, you can just reopen it. Um, see, see if it reopens. 99% of the time, you'll reopen it, continue to work. Everything is fine. Um, there are no issues. Really, cr crashes do not damage your library. Um, you're not going to open it up and everything's going to be messed up. Um, so you can just reopen the app, see if it still works. Most of the time it does. You can continue working. There'll be a pop-up that says, do you want to um, re report this crash or not? Um, it, you're welcome to. Most of the time you can hit ignore. We still get some data about it on the back end just to keep track to make sure that there's not some specific crash that every user is hitting. Um, but if you try and reopen it and it crashes again and you reopen it and it crashes again, then you can click that get help button um, and, and write us a ticket and see what may be going on. But before then, if, if you try and reopen it and it just crashes every time, that's when you can certainly, you can click that button. But if you reopen it and you work again for another 30 minutes and then it crashes again, that's when you can start to kind of maybe try and narrow down what is going on. Does it seem like it only crashes when you are um, in the photo dedupe tool and you click a certain button? Or is it when you try to set an album cover? Or is it when you connected your external drive and then it crashed? Um, if you can try to reproduce or figure out what you were doing when it was crashing. Maybe you're tagging faces, maybe you're doing something else. That is going to help immensely, um, not only for yourself to understand when it's crashing and try and work around that so you can still be productive and, and avoid it, but also if you contact support and tell us, hey, my Leo is crashing every time I try to use the uh, tag faces feature and push this button and in this view on this device, um, that's going to help a lot to to resolve it. I mentioned in external drives and other devices as well, that can be really helpful if you try and narrow, narrow it down to one device. If you're on a computer and you have two external drives attached and another computer online in the same house, um, try and quit Milo on all the other devices, disconnect the external drives, then open it and see what happens, see if it still crashes. Then plug in one of the external drives, continue to use it, see what happens, see if it still crashes. That's another great way to narrow down which devices uh, may be affected and what kind of troubleshooting we have to do after that. Reinstalling is also similar to, to turning things off and on again. Uh, reinstalling on computers is another very easy step to take. The application is separate from your catalog, which is like the database of all your files, as well as all of your actual photos themselves. So here are my folders. If I open that up, then I'll see, um, you know, here's that photo you can see there. Uninstalling the application, really just going here and deleting Mylio is not going to affect any of that. And then I could go back to myleo.com, hit download, reinstall the application, open it back up. Everything would continue working just as it is now. Um, it's essentially like performing a manual update to the app. So it, that's a fine step to take as well if you need to delete the app and reinstall it. Um, caveat there is that I am referring to Mac and Windows. Uh, it's different on a mobile device. On mobile devices, everything's packaged into one. If you delete and reinstall the app, it's akin to resetting it um, and not just re reinstalling the application. But on Mac and Windows, you're welcome to, to delete and, and reinstall uh, that as well. Um, now, similar to reinstalling or different options there, um, there is a way to open what's called the support options window. Um, so you can do this uh, a couple of different ways. One is in the help menu, select help, show support options on startup. I'm gonna click that and it says, okay, close and reopen Mylio and we'll automatically open up the support options window. And this gives you a few different options. One is to contact support. Um, so if the app is crashing and you try and open it and it crashes every time, you can't access anything, um, then you can open up the support options window. A different way to get here if you aren't able to access the help menu is you hold down on Windows, it's the Alt key. On Mac, it's the Option key. 
Just hold down that key when you open Mylio and it'll bring you directly here. Now you have a few different options. You can contact support directly. Opening in safe mode is, uh, is another great option. I can do that. That's going to take me to kind of a bare bones version of Mylio. So looking at the sync panel again, you can see all these other devices say running in safe mode. That's why those aren't connecting because in safe mode, one of the things that's disabled is syncing. So for crashes, especially that can be a great uh, step. Try and open it in safe mode and see if it still crashes or not. Um, a lot of times even opening it in safe mode and then just quitting and reopening it uh, may be enough to resolve things. Uh, I'm gonna hold down the option key and reopen it and they'll show me here. Um, repair a catalog. I mentioned that briefly earlier. The catalog is the Mylio database and that exists on every device. So in an example where Mylio is crashing on your computer, you disconnect your external drive and it stops crashing. And then you reconnect the external drive and it crashes again. That's an indication, okay, maybe there's an issue with that catalog on the external drive. You can come here and click repair plug in the external drive and choose to repair it um, and, and go from there. Another option is to factory reset Mylio Photos, completely reset all of the data on this device. Um, that is a more viable option if you do have other vaults. So if you have you know, two external drives, they're fully synced and they're working perfectly, but something is wrong on your computer, um, that is a fine option as well. You come here, do factory reset. Um, it'll ask you to confirm and then just take you to the sign in window. And you basically just sign in as if you're adding a new computer. And if, as long as you do have other vaults, then everything just automatically resyncs to the computer without needing to re import anything or, re um, you know, re tag or, or do any other work. It's just as if you're adding a new device, everything resyncs. Of course, this is not the first step that you would want to go to. Um, but that option does exist if it gets to a point where it's faster just to let everything resync for a couple of hours. All right, I'll go ahead and close this window so we can get back into Mylio here. I had a few other things listed there. Sometimes um, if you see something kind of funky with the user interface of Mylio, um, quitting and reopening is going to resolve those most of the time. So one example in particular is if you have a laptop that you plug into an external display and you're using Mylio and then you connect it to the display and then you disconnect it. Sometimes that like changing of resolutions and screens uh, can maybe distort some of the buttons in the, the user interface. Um, and in that case, just quit and reopen Mylio um, and you should be good to go. And again, that would be the quit option, make sure you're not just closing the window and reopening it. This can't, if you can't edit or add faces to a photo, a lot of time that is going to be an indication that your device doesn't have the optimized version. Um, with thumbnails, you can still organize, rename files, move them between folders, all of that. But in order to edit or add faces to a photo, um, you're going to need the optimized version. And so that's the case where if you're trying to add tags to this, you can select that, look at the sync panel, and I can see, oh, no, I actually don't have um, the optimized version or the original. It has the thumbnail, but not the other one. So that's when you could see which device is it on and, and sync that over. In a similar fashion, if you're trying to remove duplicates with the dedupe tool, um, there will actually be a message here that says, you need the original in order to delete duplicates. Um, and so the original has to be either on your device or it can be on a directly attached external drive uh, as well. Um, either of those cases, the original is required in order to remove duplicates from this view. Um, and again, you can see that by, okay, select the file, look over in the sync panel. In this case, great, my computer has the, uh, all three versions, it has the original. All right, those are really the things that I wanted to, to run through. I see a few more uh, annotations here in the chat that says I have some new messages. So let me go back over here and, and take a look. Um, Apple Photos is not importing. It was, but it hasn't in a long time. I have iCloud on all my devices and no photos are coming into Mylio.
Um, you mentioned having multiple devices. That's a situation where narrowing it down can really help a lot. So is it um, is Malio set up to import Apple Photos on each device? Are new photos coming in on some devices, but not others? Um, narrowing it down as much as possible first can be really helpful. Uh, it also, Apple Photos is unique in that when you link the Apple Photos library to Mylio, I can switch back over to this view, um, an Apple Photos folder is created, and then inside of that are subfolders for each device. Um, Mylio depends on that folder to retain its link. So if I were to delete this folder or each of the, any of those individual device folders, Mylio would be unlinked from Apple Photos. It would stop importing new media. Um, so you could also just try and hit add again on the computer. That's with the plus button up here, add media from photos. All right, here it says already added. Um, if yours got unlinked somehow, then you could select it again and choose to import on an iPhone. Um, then you would click on this little more menu, this three dots, go to settings. And on that device, there will be an option here that says add media, add Apple photos. Um, so you could always just tap that again. If it is actually linked, it'll just say Apple photos was already added. If it wasn't, then it'll recreate that folder for you. And it, it'll be linked again and, and import new photos. Um, so I would say, try those steps, try and narrow it down to specific devices or specific libraries. Um, and then if you're still having issues, then reach out to support with that information. That's something else I, I briefly mentioned, but uh, will show you again um, is actually how to contact support. So in the app, you can click on help up here in the top give you links also to a lot of different great um, great resources. I, I mentioned the manual and video courses and everything. Um, but one of the options is contact Mylio support. So you can click that. You can uh, just click fill out web form immediately. It'll take you to a page where you can submit the ticket or you can choose which information you want to send. Um, sometimes we may ask you to include the catalog or change some of these settings uh, to give us more information. Um, but that is a that is a way to contact us is just help contact my lady support. Peter, uh, I'm getting a pop-up window telling me that I have an authorization error, uh, error eventually crashing. I know that you have a, an existing ticket going, um, Peter, with um, I think at least Charlie or maybe, maybe myself and Charlie. But uh, I think for that specific issue, it'd be best to continue working in that ticket via email and support. I uh, downloaded my Google Photos library and the HEIC photos won't show and say they are corrupt. Uh, that is often an issue we will see on Windows computers. Uh, by default, Windows does not include the necessary, it's called a codec. It, it, Windows is not able to read the HEIC photos that come from iPhones by default. Um, so there is something that you can install from the Microsoft store, the Windows store uh, on your PC that will allow you to read those files. Um, if you just do a, a Google search for, uh, or even just open up the Microsoft store uh, on your PC and search for HEIC, that, then that should come up. That is likely what's happening, um, is that Mylio will be unable to read those files on Windows because Windows itself is, is unable to read them. Um, if files were deleted outside of Mylio, they show up as missing. You can show lost originals. Can you just right click them and select delete so Mylio stops looking for them? Yes, I have a desktop and laptop. Option delete photos on the laptop after I copy them to uh, the desktop. Yes, yeah, if you can absolutely um, it, just go ahead and delete those. If you deleted the files outside of Mylio and now Mylio says it can't find them, um, and your intention was to actually delete them from your library, then you can go ahead and yeah, just, just select them and hit delete or right-click delete um, in Mylio. Now, the tip there is that there is a setting that will control that behavior. It's called safe delete. By default, this is on. Um, you can find that by going to the dashboard, click on devices and your device, and then here at the bottom is the safe delete setting. This affects what happens when you delete files outside of Mylio. Uh, like I said, by default, it's on. So in that case, 
if you delete a file outside of Mylio, it's going to assume that that was an accident and it will try and resync that photo from another device, assuming that it's on another device. If it isn't, that's what um, it, how it becomes a lost original. Um, if you frequently are working in Finder or in File Explorer and deleting files, then you would want to turn safe delete off. And in that case, it will see the deletion, it will remove it from your library and delete it on all of your devices. Uh, it is important to note, this is not a mechanism designed to, um, if you're trying to save space on your computer, you shouldn't keep this on and then delete a bunch of files outside of Mylio. Um, what you should do is just change the device sync policy. So if you have originals on your laptop, but you want to save space and just have them stored on the external drive, then what you would do is change the device sync policy. You wouldn't um, want to actually delete the files. Um, let's see, how long does Mylio drive normally take to sync? It shows connected, it's waiting for 16,000 items and is not counting down. Uh, it should be making progress. Um, the amount of time it takes is going to depend on a lot of factors in terms of what else Mylio is working on and of course your, um, your internet speed. Um, but it should at least we would expect it to be making progress. That's a situation where I would take a look at the activities menu and see what's listed there. See if Miley is working on anything else. Does it say it's trying to sync? Is that bar making progress or does it appear to be stuck? Um, or are there any other activities queued up? Um, that can give you a better idea of kind of what's happening, if anything is happening in the background. Uh, after that, if you haven't done so already, quitting and reopening Mylio and seeing if there's a, any bit of a, a nudge in progress there, if that kickstarts anything uh, is also another good step. Um, but from there, if you do kind of try those various things and nothing's making progress, then I would say go ahead and contact support with that help menu and we can take a look and see why things might not be syncing. Actually, that is um, something else to, to check while we're at it. There is similar to turning off syncing in general, there's also a specific toggle to turn off syncing with cloud services. So that would affect Mylio Drive or OneDrive um, or Google Drive if you have those added to your account. So uh, again, on the dashboard, you can go ahead and uh, select your device. Scroll down, it will give you some sync settings. Um, here's the one just sync in general, but right here, sync with cloud services. Uh, you can both make sure that's on, um, but then even if it is, you could toggle it off, toggle it back on, and that can, can kind of kickstart things as well, just to make sure that it's actually enabled. Um, let's see, Alan said, I have devices that have been removed when I had to perform maintenance on my library, and now I have empty devices, indicates are removed, along with recreated device folders. How do I get rid of these? Those may show up in a few different places. If I am uh, understanding correctly, one of the places those will show up is on the dashboard in the devices list. Um, if I were to replace my computer and add a new one, this would still show up um, as a device here, uh, as well as any, even if I were to reset this computer and then sign in again, that would essentially add it as a new device and I would see this old one listed on the dashboard here. So yes, if you have any devices that have been replaced or reset and they're showing up here twice, or you have devices that you don't have anymore, you can absolutely just come to this device list, uh, select it, and then at the bottom is an option to unregister the device. And then you just want to confirm that you actually want to unregister it. I Now there are also, it's also possible in here in the folder view, for this, there to be something here that says removed. Um, so for example, if I were to go to linked folders here, um, some of you may see a folder view that looks similar to this where, okay, here are Mylio Photos library folders. Here's that sample library I had, and here's this folder that shows up under my MacBook. And that will happen if I linked this folder on my computer, it'll just show up in this section telling me that this is the device where the folder came from originally. Or as you just saw, um, I could have gone to the dashboard and specifically told Miley I want it to show up in this section. If I unregister this computer, this folder will still show up there, but then it'll say removed 
afterwards because that device was removed. The folder's still there. Again, it's just showing up in that section saying, hey, it came from this device and that device was removed. Uh, to get rid of that, you would go to your devices, click on your device, click on linked folders. That's gonna give you options to view all those folders in your library. And then it was, where did it go now? Zoom's in the way. So here's that folder that's showing up in that section. And I just want to mark it as a library folder because I want it to show up in that top section again, and that'll show up here. Uh, so that may be another set spot where like a removed device would be showing up or removed uh, folders. All right, I think we're all caught up on questions. Yeah. Um, if, if anyone does have any last minute questions, feel free to type them in the chat, but Hopefully you at least all have an idea of kind of things to try, places to look to, to get more information about kind of what's happening in your library and, and narrowing down uh, what might be causing uh, whatever you're seeing and, and get more information that way. Great, thanks, Michael. Do you mind if I share my screen for just a moment? I'm gonna show a few more spots where they can get some more education. And Absolutely. Um, yeah, let me just go ahead and do this. Okay, hopefully folks can see my screen. Um, this is the Milo website. So um, this is kind of new for us, but we've got this little chat box here. And if you just click on this little blue button, if you need some help, you can send us a direct message. Um, they're pretty responsive. And within you know working hours afterwards, you'll still get some answers to your questions, but there are links to some getting started videos, the product manual, et cetera. And you can even search for specific help in here. So that's one spot. Um, another thing is this is our community and the Milo community is very interactive. We've got quite a few people that, <laughs> that like to share photos and ask questions here. This is where you can find some of our uh, events that are coming up, including this coffee break and some more uh, getting started and special guests, and that would be under events. And you can always view past ones by just clicking on past. And then if you click on any of these, you'll see a link to watch the replay. Um, we do have a section in here uh, for quick questions. If you have any quick questions you want to ask here, you could do that as well. Um, also, we have a fundamentals course uh, for those of you who may be kind of new to Milio Photos or want to learn more about a specific to topic. In the community, uh, there is a learn section here. Let's see here, or courses, I'm sorry, <laughs> courses. And this is the Milio Photos Fundamental Course. And gosh, I think it takes uh, probably a few days at least to go through all these, but you can see there's quite a bit of information here uh, if you want to learn a little bit more. Uh, we do have our help center. Um, you know, Michael's very much involved with answering your questions and such but you can find some FAQs here. So for frequently asked questions, uh, you might wanna check here as well. Uh, again, that's under, um, if you go to My Little Photos, and uh, that would be, I think you can get it from here as well. Let's see here, search for help. Well, that's that's uh, searching for help here. But um, yeah, but you can go in here and get some answers to some of your questions. Uh, there is a very robust uh, manual that goes through everything you'd ever want to know about Milo Photos. So if you want to learn what specific icon looks like to installation, you might want to check out our manual. Um, you can go under uh, the Milo website, under Learn, and under the product manual. Here's the link to the community. There's those FAQs and getting started. So just want to show you a few more spots that you can get some more information, uh, as well as what Michael had showed you earlier, where you can go in-app and actually get some help there as well. Um, okay, so Michael, anything else? Last minute words before we wrap this up? No, I would just say if anyone does have questions, please yeah, feel free to use all those resources or, or reach out to support in the app and we'd be happy to help. Great. And it looks like Harold might have one last question here. <sighs> Yes, I just uh, I just offered a response in oh. the chat, um, but yeah, those those folders are just created for you when you install Milio and okay. um, the Milio pictures and Milio inbox. You're welcome to use them if you are kind of just getting started organizing, but if you already have your own folders and structure, then of course you're welcome to just use your own folders. Uh, they're not required. Great. 
Okay, well, Michael, thank you very much uh, for the special presentation and thanks everyone for joining us today. Hope you learned a few tips along the way and we hope to see you again real soon.